Parameters. Parameters are numbers that appear in statistical models. Okay, they're not just numbers, they're numbers with special interpretations. I'll describe two similar, but slightly different ways to view parameters. One way to view a parameter is to think of it as a knob that will change the shape of a function. In statistics, these functions will usually be statistical models such as a PDF of a random variable or a linear regression model. Let's explore an example here. Let's say that I want to understand the IQ of the average YouTuber. To model this, we'll use a normal distribution. I expect that most IQs will center around some value called the mean, known to most people as the average. A normal random variable has two parameters. One of these parameters is actually the mean I mentioned earlier. The mean is usually denoted by the Greek letter mu. You're going to see a lot of Greek in statistics, so get used to it. Using our tuning knob metaphor, the mean controls where the peak of the PDF is. There are no restrictions on the value the mean can take, so it can be as negative or as positive as you want. Technically, IQ should be constrained to be positive, but after living my life long enough, I'm open to the possibility that some people in this region actually exist. The second parameter is variance, denoted by sigma squared. If we tune the variance higher, the distribution will be squished and flat. Smaller variance gives us a more concentrated spike. Notice that changing the variance doesn't change the position of the mean. To understand what's so special about these two numbers, we should have a look at the PDF of a normal distribution. Once we decide the values for these two parameters, we'll have an entire function that describes the distribution of YouTuber IQ. For a normal random variable, it can theoretically be any real number. Real in the math sense of the word. There are infinitely many real numbers, so in order to create a PDF, you have to decide what value this function should take for infinitely many values. And we all know the central problem statisticians face. Ain't nobody got time for that! So, just deciding the values of these two numbers alone will set an infinite number of values. But how do we know what values to set? This brings us to the second lens for parameters. Here's the rub. In practice, we'll never know the true values of these parameters. These parameters represent values about a population that we want to study. If you recall from the population video, we'll never fully observe this population and by extension, never know the true value of the parameter. Remember that we're trying to understand the average YouTuber IQ. YouTubers are our population. Our model for IQ is a Gaussian random variable, so the average IQ is captured by the mean parameter. For this particular question, I don't really care about the variance. If we don't know the value of the parameter, what can we do? We do statistics, of course. We gather data from a sample of YouTubers and create a good guess for the value of the parameter. But that's another video. This has been a pocket stat on parameters. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.